Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hello, it's been a long time since I've been on the camera. Y'all don't know how hard it was for me to turn on this camera and to get on and say hello. Um, I am in my bed with my headscarf on, which is red, black, gray, and some other colors, and my pink robe. Y'all know, this is not my cup of tea. But God was dealing with me, and he said, you know, we always say in church that we're naked and not ashamed. But are we really naked and not ashamed? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm. I'm tired. My eyes are red. And God is yet moving in my life. God is yet blessing my life. But what I'm beginning to realize is it is really not about me. It is really not about me. Because if it was about me, I would have gotten my face together, my lip gloss popping, my hair would be down, because I have some cute little curls in, in them, and my hair up under this big old scarf. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the Lord dealing with me about being naked and not ashamed of the things that we go through as people of God, because... Not only do the world need to know that we feel, we go through, we suffer. Just like they do. We go through things, like much like the world. We go through losing loved ones. We go through divorces. We go through disappointments. We go through bills not being paid. We go through the ups and downs, depression, sickness, all of that. But the thing about it is our attitude when we go through it all. And also, we've got the greater one, which is God, Jesus, hallelujah, and the Holy Ghost that brings us through it all. And we've got to continue to be that example and let people know that God is real. But where the church has failed to realize that they've got to be transparent. We've got to be transparent. I'm not saying put all your personal business out there, but begin to just be real about your situation, your circumstance. So, I have a lot of things that I'm dealing with personally as a mother. One of my main situations. Um... And as I began to seek the Lord and ask him how I should share my story, I know that it will be a blessing to others. So, at night is when I really think, I really think about the deep things in my life. And we'll call these sessions the bedside chat. Bedside chat, that's what we'll call it. And I'll just come on and share my personal feelings and issues. Before I go to bed. Consider me. Tracy. When this camera comes on. And. It's no lights. Camera action. <laughs> um, I have a soft light. In my room. Shining in my room right now. I don't even know how this is going to turn out. But I just want you all to know. That. I'm seeking the Lord for some things. I am really needing him to touch my heart about some things. And it's like my life is blessed right now. I, I mean, I cannot complain. I'm in cosmetology school, about to graduate uh, from the clinical part. I am in the degree program. I'll explain all that later. Um, My business is going well. My marriage is great. My husband has an awesome job. He's doing well. I'm telling you, God has really did the impossible in our life. But nothing's too hard for him. But we've been through a lot the, the last five to six years since we've been married. We've been through a lot. 
and God has shown himself strong and mighty. The transition to Erie, Pennsylvania, woo, that's a story in itself. So it's so much that I want to share, and I just want to be a blessing to somebody that may be going through a hard time, a rough time in their life. But just know that God is able. Um, just like that song that Smokey Norfolk used to sing, God is able, and he will not fail. Hallelujah. But I just praise the Lord for being back on YouTube. And y'all know I always come with something out the box. <laughs> A special shout out to Apostle Stacy Woods for being that light and that inspiration in my life. For being that woman of God that the Lord has called her to be. And it was because of her that my channel on YouTube was born because of Dimensions of Stacy. And I just want to let her know that I appreciate her. I love her. And woman of God, just keep doing what you are doing. Some hate it. Some love it. Some are destined to have you in their life. And I'm one of them. So God bless you all. I am <laughs> tripping that I'm on this camera looking like this. But like I said, it is not about you, Tracy. You know, we have to really say that to ourselves. It's not about you, Tracy. It's not about you. <laughs> it is about God. Oh, my goodness. I'm thinking, Lord, you can at least have me come on the camera and match, you know. He said, no, get on here like this. Y'all know I like to have my little earrings on, my little lip gloss. And I'm sitting up in my bed. Oh, my goodness. But to God be all the glory. Whatever he wants, that's what I should do. I love you all, and I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. Give me a shout-out. And also, if you have any topics or anything that you would like for me to um, talk about, have any questions, send them to my inbox, and um, that will get the conversation rolling with our bedside chats. All right, God bless you all. Give me a shout-out. Love you. Bye-bye.